for, for me, it's, um, you know, Jeff's history in, in serving and skateboarding is so important and influential. And then um, Glenn shot pretty much the, uh, the unholy trinity of subcultures I care about, skate, punk, and hip hop. So um, working with him is always amazing because he's created so many iconic images. And then this, this, uh, this picture to me, um, you know, other than Jeff's beard um, being gray, I could be that could be from you know from the mid '70s. It's just got this amazing iconic feel to it. It's timeless. It's classic. It's instant classic. And so, um, for me to get to you know illustrate that and try to amplify what I think is awesome about it is you know it's a real honor for me to do that. It's surf skate style, and you got a pioneer of all three of those things right here. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it kind of says, says it all. And if, if you don't look at this and just uh, get it right away, then you don't speak the language. Yeah, I love the photo. I, I couldn't believe it. I think this could have been the last shot he had in the camera, right. <laughs> you know? Glenn does have a good eye, and he'll let you know that too, but like... <laughs> but, it, but it's true. This one, I just thought the silhouette and the shadow, and you've right. got surf skate all in one. It's like every ingredient is awesome. Right, yeah, so there you go. The collaboration, I think, it, uh, what an honor. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah, thank you, thank you, bro. <laughs> you know, I put Shepard Ferry to do this one because of many people that I know who are iconic in what they've done and what they've contributed to the cultures that I've been involved with. You know, Jeff Ho was one of the ones right there at the top. And as far as I'm concerned in skateboarding, there's no one who has the, uh, you know, integrity level of Jeff Ho. And... It's always fun working with Shepard. The thing about Shepard is he's a craftsman, and he's very, very intelligent. He knows what the fuck he's doing. He knows what the fuck he's talking about. People could hate, and haters are going to hate. That's what I have to say. But Shepard Ferry is the motherfucking man. He's a good guy. He's a really good guy. These collaborations are good, you know? It's art that immortalizes the person. I mean, Shepard, he was doing great things before he did the Obama poster, but certainly everything post-Obama poster, you know, what an honor it is to work with a guy who put a president in office, whether he did a good job or not is, is you know, is another story for another day. But, you know, we had hope and everyone had hope and he helped elect that president. There's no doubt about it through his graphic design sense and the fact that we get to immortalize Jeff Ho in this poster of someone who contributed so much to the culture and is such a good dude. To do that via Shepard's work is great. The Zephyr Shop, it was revered. It had this aura about it that made it a little bit unattainable to some of us, you know, kids from, you know, Westwood and Brentwood, but we would go there to get equipment or to look at the boards or whatever else. And in fact, you know, Jeff was uh, was an enigma. You know, you, you didn't even see him. But, uh, but he was someone to be respected in the neighborhood and, and in the whole family of, uh, of skateboarding and surfing. I love, I love surfing, I love skating. So that's, and I, and I keep thinking like maybe I'm gonna grow out of it, but I have it so far. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? It's, it, what's so funny about it is that um, I would have thought that, you know, maybe I could have moved on or Maybe when you get older, you think like, you know, you're gonna, you're, you're not gonna feel the same way you did when you were younger. I feel the same way about it as when um, I was younger. And I'm always thinking about like surfboards and skateboards or, you know, the templates, this and that, you know, the rocker, how much this weighs, you know, and the design of the boards that I'm doing. It's so weird, but I do it all the time. And that was with me um, since I was like a young, a young kid, and um, and, I, and sometimes in school I would be thinking about boards, and I remember always, I remember I used to get in trouble for it. So I was sitting in a, in a geometry class, you know, I love math, you know, I love geometry, you know, and I was, but I was just off on this thing where I was thinking about these fins. I got caught by the geometry teacher. He asked me about this theorem. And I just said, like, I don't know. Because I totally wasn't paying attention to the lecture. And so he says, dude, get in the back of the room. It's funny as shit. Well, well, that led me to think, and, and here we are. This, in this particular board, 
on that particular board. It's, it's one of the earlier four fins, and it's what I call the quad thruster. And a lot of people don't know why that's on the bottom of the board. What would you think? Why would you think that I would use some kind of weird ass letters like that? Because I, I back in the day, I put it on the bottom of Jay's board. Yeah, Jay. And that surfboard ended up in Hawaii. It was one of the team boards. It was it went to Hawaii and um, it got to ride some fucking gnarly waves at gas chambers. <laughs>